So, you have a Halloween reboot slash sequel, sequel, sequel for me? Oh, God, I think so. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is anymore, but you got that new Halloween movie for me? Oh, yeah, yes, sir, I do. Amazing. So this one's gonna take place four years after the events of the last movie, right? Oh, yeah, and what's going on with Laurie Strode? Hey, you know, she's just kind of doing her best to live a normal suburban life, you know, just taking it easy. Really? Yeah, that is, that's what I wrote here. Why, what's up? It's just like two movies ago, we said she had spent like 40 years training and being paranoid just in case Michael Myers ever escaped from the asylum he was in. Right. And now Michael Myers has killed her daughter and is on the loose, and she's just chilling. Yeah, no, she's chilling. Oh, okay, cool. So anyway, we're gonna meet this weird 24-year-old dude named Corey, right? Hey, what's his deal? Well, his deal is that the movie's about him now. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Michael Myers and Laurie Strode? Ah, not so much, no. Isn't that what people would want to see, though? Who's to say? I mean, probably, probably everybody. Okay, well, look, we could focus the marketing on Laurie Strode versus Michael Myers, but I think in terms of the actual movie, we're gonna really want to focus on this Corey guy. If you say so. So what's going on? with, uh, Corey, was it? Corey, yeah, and so three years ago he accidentally killed the kid he was babysitting and the whole town hates him now. Like, he gets bullied by some high school kids. Uh, like big football jocks. <laughs> oh, worse! Marching band. What? Yeah, these little marching band kids are real mean to Corey and one day while they're bullying him, he hurts his hand. Uh-oh. And so Lori brings him to this doctor office where her daughter Allison is now a nurse and she's like, hey, maybe, maybe you date my daughter now. What? And Allison sees this dude and she's like, oh, Oh, I am very much into this weird guy who killed a child and gets bullied by teenage marching band geeks. Well, you know, that is pretty hot. Yeah, it is. So they're deeply in love now. Yeah, no, I get it. But then Corey's gonna get bullied by the marching band again. God, these tiny musicians will not leave this guy alone. I know, and this time they push him off a little bridge, and while he's unconscious, he gets dragged into a sewer by Michael Myers. He's the guy this is supposed to be about. He is, except it's very much about Corey. So what's going on? with Michael Myers. I mean, at the end of the last movie, we said he was like the embodiment of evil, and he took out a whole entire armed mob by himself. Oh, yeah! Well, I forgot about all that, so now he's very weak, and he's been living in a sewer for four years. Oh! Yeah, so, you know, hopefully people won't really remember how the last movie ended. This is a direct sequel to it. It is, yeah, and so he killed a bunch of people, and then suddenly became kind of a geriatric Pennywise the Clown, just an arthritic old man occasionally killing people in a sewer. I guess that's a scary horror movie bad guy. It might be. So anyway, he grabs Corey and he doesn't actually kill him, but they lock eyes. Are they gonna kiss? They're not gonna kiss, no, but it seems like Michael maybe sees the same darkness inside Corey that he has inside himself. There's something going on with the eyes. Is it supernatural? Who knows? You? Nope. And so then Corey leaves the sewer and immediately kills a homeless guy. Oh my god. And then he goes to see Allison and he's like, I just killed a guy. Like, I just murdered a dude. Yeesh. How does she react? She doesn't really, so they keep on dating. Oh, okay. And then Corey's gonna bring this cop that used to date Allison into the sewer and kind of kill him with Michael. Oh boy, here we go. Michael Myers is back, maybe. Yeah. And also Corey. Mostly Corey. I don't, I don't know who that is. Then they're gonna kill another couple of people together and Corey's gonna be kind of consumed by the darkness and want to go on a killing spree. Uh-oh. But first he wants Michael's iconic mask. Well, it's gonna be impossible to get Michael Myers' mask off of him. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, he just heads to the sewer and beats the crap out of him and takes it from him. This kid that was beaten up by some marching band kids beats the crap out of Michael Myers. Yeah, just whoops his little psychopath butt and steals his mask and runs away. All right. So then he goes on a killing spree, but when he gets to Lori, she shoots him. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he's not actually dead yet, and he tells her, if I can't have your daughter, no one can. And then he cuts his own neck. But if he's dead, doesn't that mean anyone except him? him can have her now? Oh uh, yeah, whoops. Whoopsie. Anyway, now it's time for the final act of the movie. So the guy we've spent the entire movie following doesn't make it into the final act. Correct, because now it's time for the big showdown this has all been leading up to, uh, you know, mostly in the background, I guess. Which is? This old, weak sewer guy who was just beat up by a guy who was bullied by band geeks versus... 
a grandmother. Right. And so then they fight, and the grandmother wins. Oh, uh, violent grandmas are tight. Yeah, they are. And so then the whole town comes together and parades through the streets with Michael's dead body. How did everybody find out? Did Lori send out a group text? Probably a group text situation, yeah. So then they throw his body into this grinder thing, which, you know, grinds it. Gross. And so that's it. He's dead, dead. He's dead, dead, sir. And then we see Lori writing a book about the whole experience, and she's like, there will be no grave, no memorial. The memory of him will fade. The memory of him will fade. Wow. Wait, she wrote that in a book? Yes. That Okay. And so that's about it. What do you think? Well, listen, as long as we got the iconic mask and knife and the marketing material, this is gonna make money. Hi everybody, Ryan George here. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the, uh, the, don't forget to click the, don't forget to click the, don't forget to click, I, I don't, it's gonna come to me. Don't forget, don't forget.